know you can rap about guns and shit, but switch it up. And then he was like, man, that shit hard. I was like, man, that shit ain't hard enough, bro. And that shit was making him so mad. He was getting that bitch and going harder. My motherfucking three niggas. Dang. Ready for all, I got to dedicate it to my enemy. You got to chill, but they keep telling the boy. What up the car? We got to get him going. Catch him, I'm gone. I got them hitters looking. Knock at your door. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You know what I'm saying? Like. I want to get on the Mo3 thing, though, because Rain, I didn't know that he was that, had that much influence because all you seen was Mo3 in all the right. kitchen. I didn't even get to answer the question. Yeah. I'm my bad. Let's so get to it. <laughs> Rain called me and said, hey, man, I got an artist. And I'm like, all right, what up, fool? This nigga called me back again. I got an artist. Bro, I got an artist. Hey, hit that fool. I'm going to pay you to come to the studio. And that's when I learned, damn, like, fool, like, niggas are literally paid for my ear just to see what it is. So I get in there. You know what I'm saying? This little short, little stumpy, little. Matter of fact, he's skinny. He ain't even fat. He's skinny. I'm talking about nigga muscle shirt loose in the motherfucker. Like, like, <laughs> size 2X gym shorts on. Some fucking slides. I'm like, I'm like, Ryan, you got me in here looking for this nigga? Because at this time, rappers, you had Trap Boy, designer, little Cuban link, yeah, watch. Yeah. So uh, I'm like, uh, yellow. So I'm, I'm, so I'm like, I'm like, bro, this nigga don't look like no fucking rapper, bro. He, bro, he broke. <laughs> like bro, ain't nothing he can say on this mic to make me just go, alright bro, he hard. So boom, it's probably about eight o'clock. It's just now nah, it's probably like seven o'clock. It's just getting dark. We ain't leave that motherfucking studio about like probably about five, six in the morning. That little guy started fucking rapping, bro. Please say the crack got him bouncing like so plain. I don't love hoes. I'm addicted to hoes brain. 38 slug no the three keep it in close range. And I was like, yep, he the next one. And I and we did shots was reloaded. Damn. We did shots was reloaded. I hosted the mixtape. That was the first. And and I was in there with him like, all right, three. I know you can rap about guns and shit, but switch it up. And then he was like, man, that shit hard. I was like, man, that shit ain't hard enough, bro. And that shit was making him so mad, he was getting that bitch and going harder. My motherfucking three niggas. Ready for all, I got to dedicate it to my enemy. You got to chill, but they keep telling the boy. Wait up the car, we got to get him going, catch him, I'm going. I got them hitters looking, knock at your door. And the rain was like, whoo. Like, <laughs> like oh, I know how to do it now. I just, just piss him off. Just keep making him matter. Just make him matter. And he just, man, so... Since man three was a, man, he was a legend, bro. I, I like it because you know, uh, like I said, uh, three. I didn't really. I was a. I'm gonna be honest with you. Before they even was having any issues and all that, I was with yelling them because of the designer, yeah. young nigga trapping designer. Yeah, I'm a nigga that sell clothes. It makes sense when you think about it. Then I'm a hustler. Yeah, so I'm like this nigga here marketable. Yeah. The first time I hear about Mo three. The nigga, he, he jumping on a mixtape guy or something, uh, uh, something crazy. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then he the, over the here. Shit with, the CJ was shit with uh, D-Real. D-Real. And then the next time I hear he beating up somebody on Facebook, I told <laughs> Rain, well, I'm like, no, nah, nigga, that nigga is not the one I need to be dealing with. I'm trying to get this. I'm looking at the shit him going. I'm like, this nigga yellow, though. This nigga here, he marketable. You know, the nigga ain't all, he, all, he ain't all that, but he gonna be, you know, he marketable. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. From a financial standpoint and a hustler, I'm looking at this can go. I, my brother called me about this dude, man. He kept he calling me Mo by Mo3. Mo3. I'm like, man, why you keep calling about this nigga? He like, man, you heard that church song? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know nothing about it. I don't, that nigga kept calling. Then I started listening. Yeah. My mama stayed in the church, church, ran and make sure we was there every Sunday. On the block, I was raised by the worst. worst. So much pain that this shit made me hurt. I said, this damn nigga right here, that nigga, that that nigga got something. You know what's so crazy? And this, and this is what I tell people all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like three was he, he, he was just, he is just in a whole class of his own. But I didn't heard like all the trap boy in the music. You know what I'm saying? I done heard all the yellow music. They got the same capabilities to be as powerful. It's just, I don't know if they, they scared to put that type of music out or, but they got the same, they got it in them too. I don't know what it's going to take to get it out of them because to me, Trap Boy, when you rapping about trap shit, bar for bar, ain't nobody fucking with that man. Mm hmm you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people say they don't like the way trap rap. I'll be like, bro, when he talking about trap, when he talking about 
When he talking about that lifestyle, hey man, you can't fuck with that boy. Let me tell you something. I go on the record to say this: the hardest uh, nigga on that uh, uh, that's on me a remix with Trap Boy Freddy. My niggas on lock, I send them some cheddar. I send them some pictures, I send them some letters. I'm stacking this cheddar, I'm back and I'm better. Say, man, he had a cold you ass. You heard what verse. I just said, dude. Ain't, ain't, ain't. I think it's the right song, the right beat, and you in trouble. It's just, only thing is, I feel like Trap don't have the, the complete team around him to, to bring it out because, all right, when they did, he don't the, trust nobody. I don't think he give a damn to even trust. Now nah, you care. That's the thing. I think I think you you gotta care because you you know you know for a fact that you know this shit this shit make millions. Mm. So I know he care. Yeah. I know just I know to find he care. Right team that he trusts. That's the problem. It's just man. It's it's a, it's about the system, dog. And in the city is lacking the system to keep to elevate our city in a in a, in a bigger light. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.